We are back. We continue our preview of the 2019 high school football season, which gets started next Friday. We get to class 3A in a bit, but class 4A is next. Here's Mary Margaret to see how Texas Football Magazine says our class 4A schools are going to do this year. While class 4A may be small, our three big country teams are still mighty. Coming into the 2018 season in an extremely tough district filled with state championship caliber teams, Brownwood had a lot of adversity to deal with. But in Sammy Burnett's first season coaching his alma mater, the Lions put together a solid year where they went 4-6 and six on the season with a trip to the bi-district round of the playoffs where they eventually fell to Kennedale. There are a lot of exciting things to look forward to in Coach Burnett's second season, though. Brownwood returns 10 starters on both sides of the ball, including Baylor commit Adonis McCarty, who put up 757 yards receiving and five touchdowns in 2018. The Lions will have to replace their gunslinger quarterback, Tommy Bowden, who threw for over 2,200 yards last season. The Lions are slated to finish fourth in District 5-4A Division I behind Waco La Vega, Stephenville, and China Spring. In Division II, the Snyder Tigers went from struggling to put up wins to being a team to watch in one season. There's a lot to be excited for surrounding the Snyder Tigers in the 2019 football season. Wes Wood was just named the new head coach of the Tigers last week, and he brings with him a lifetime of coaching in his blood as his father was the head coach at Mule Shoe for over 20 years. The Tigers returned 13 lettermen from their 8-3 and three season, many of whom have gotten loads of playing time for a number of years. The Tigers are predicted to finish second in District 1-4A behind Midland Greenwood. The Sweetwater Mustangs are looking to bounce back in 2019 after a rare 1-9 season last year. The Mustangs were really young and inexperienced in 2018, but with a full year of varsity action under their belts, Sweetwater returns 12 starters on both sides of the ball. The Mustangs are slated to finish fifth in District 1-4A.